Hey, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm gonna be trying something new here on my channel. You guys already know that I am attempting a low buy, which I'll be completely honest with you, I am not succeeding at at the moment. I am doing horribly for the month of January. I will update you guys at the end of the month. I'm just gonna be real with you. If I don't meet my low buy standards or if I fail miserably in this particular month or, or whatever, I'm gonna tell you guys that. I'm not doing so great this month, okay? I was tempted, I wasn't strong, I was weak. That's where I'm at. So I'm really trying hard to like dig back through my collection, find old favorites, rediscover stuff that I loved prior, maybe stuff that I didn't love so much before, but I might have different opinions on now. And I just wanna share that process with you. This is gonna give me the opportunity to pick certain products and really focus on using those throughout the month when I'm not filming. So I've had that little like random, the spinner app where you can put a bunch of different products or a bunch of different whatever into like a little wheel and you spin it and it'll randomly pick things for you. I've had that since last year and I had actually filmed like one or two videos. I hated the way they turned out and I never uploaded them, but I like the concept. I like having something randomly pick my stuff out for me because choosing through a collection that is as large as mine is, is extremely overwhelming. And I want my makeup experience and my makeup playtime to be fun and creative and just like an adventure. So I feel like this is a good way to do that. I actually found this app by watching Rachel from Things by the Burke. If you haven't seen Rachel, if you've never seen her channel, she's really chill. She has a, a wonderful little makeup channel and she's just trying out things, going through a collection, testing out old things. I really like watching her. There's an app called Spin the Wheel app on Android. I don't know about for iPhone, but it is on my Android. And it looks like this. Okay, so what I've done is I've put the majority of my makeup products. I've got a cat. I've got a little wheel for blush. I have one for bronzer. I've got concealer. I've got eyeshadow palettes. I have just about everything in here. This is how I'm going to do this series. I'm going to use that little spinner app to pick out the products that I'm going to be focusing on for that month. I'm going to be putting everything in this little container, and then those are the items I'm going to focus on when I am off camera at least try to incorporate them in my routine in some way, shape, or form. That's not to say those are the only products I'm gonna be allowed to use, but I at least wanna make an effort to give some love to those items. So I'm super excited to be doing this with you guys today and to see what this, uh, this spinner app picks for me. I'm gonna be creating a full face of makeup using items picked from the spinner app. And then the items that were picked, again, are gonna be used throughout the month. I just wanna be able to give more insight and thoughts on the stuff that I already have. Sometimes it's easy to forget when you're in this beauty space that not everybody's looking for the newest products, the new releases. Sometimes people are looking for a product that came out a while ago. Maybe they wanna know how something, say the Estee Lauder Double Wear, maybe they wanna know how that works and they're just now thinking about purchasing it. Not everybody is looking for that new new. So I feel like this is good for people that are looking for other products, not just the new releases. So if you guys like this type of video idea, this series, please let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing your all's feedback. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, but you like makeup and beauty content, you like shop my stash, reviews, just playing with makeup, having a good time. That's what we're doing here on my channel. Please be sure to stick around, hit the subscribe button before leaving, ring the notification bell so you don't miss uploads. That's too much. It's too much. I fucking struggled today. <laughs> oh shit. Losing it. Okay. Bring it in. So I'm gonna spin the little primer wheel here. So ready? Spin. Whoops. Alright, we're spinning. Becca backlight priming filter. I think I just used that, didn't I? And I quite liked it, okay? So it also gives you the option to hide that slice on the wheel if it gets picked, which is what I'm gonna do because I wanna try to work through everything. So I'm gonna hit hide slice. Okay, we're spinning. Give me something good. Shiseido Wasu. I haven't tried that in a long time. So we've got two very different primers. I have a very matte primer and I have a very glowy primer. I like that. So let's hide that one. Let's do one more. Give me something good. We got the Forsali Skin Tune Blur, another one that I haven't used in a while. So I've got a very glowy primer and two more blurring, mattifying primers. I'm gonna stick with that for now. 
Okay, let's move it over to powder and let's spin that wheel. JCAT Aqua Assurance. I love that powder. Love that powder. Let's do her again. Pretty vulgar. Another amazing powder. Let's do one more. Laura Mercier. Those are all really good. All right, I'm going to spin the highlighter wheel. There's a lot. There's a lot of highlighters on this wheel. JD Glow Chaos. Oh, no. Not that I don't like it, but it's super glittery. So that's one that... <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one. Let's spin her again. Definitely can't, like, wear that one to work or anything. My boss might be questioning my life choices at that point. The Artist Couture Purple Dream. That's another fun, colorful highlight. Okay. Spin her again. I need at least one neutral highlighter here. ColourPop Light Sticks in Earth. Let's do one more. I would like to have a neutral powder highlight. I'm looking over here because of my monitor and I'm like, Artist Couture Illuminati. Well, that's what we're working with. Just for shits and giggles, we're going to do one more. Nabla Skin Glazing in Privilege. I'm okay with that. Okay, I think that's about as neutral as we're going to get on this. Let's move it up to concealers. Spin the wheel. I have decluttered stuff since I like created this app or created the wheels. So I'm hoping that I don't get too many things that, that I don't have. Dior Forever Skin Correct. I love that one. L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I haven't used that one in a while. It's not my favorite. This will be good for me to declutter things. If I use it a bunch and I hate it, I'm just going to get rid of it. There's no sense in me hanging on to stuff. Hourglass. I don't have a whole lot of experience with that one. That's a newer one. We're going to pick one more. Both of those are, are very full coverage. Tarte Shape Tape. We have some very full coverage concealers. Alrighty then. I'm really excited to see what I pick for my foundation. I, actually, I'm really nervous. And to be honest with you, I've gotten rid of quite a few of the ones that are in here. I guess I'll find out when I go to pick one and it's not in my collection. I'll have to get rid of it. Give me some good foundations. Oh, I'm so nervous. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. I love that foundation. We are off to a good start. If anything, if I don't like them, I'll just mix them all together. Come up with a little foundation cocktail. Oh, dang. This is picking some really good ones. So far we have the Charlotte Tilbury and we have the NARS Soft Matte, which are both foundations that I love, so. Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. That is one that I don't love. Actually, that's one that I'm probably going to declutter out of my collection because it's it's old and it's not a fave at all. Jane Irnell Beyond Matte. So I actually got that from Influencer a while ago and I haven't used it since. It just wasn't a favorite foundation. Let's do one more. Foundation is something I can switch up pretty often because I wear foundation every single day regardless. Chanel Ultra Latent. I actually never tried that so we got some good choices here. I'm really hoping that the lighting hasn't been all screwy this entire time. It keeps changing from like a cool light to a warm light. I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyhow. Okay, let's go through face palettes and bronzer and contour palettes. I don't have quite as many on this one. Morphe 8L. Not a favorite. I was kind of hoping it was going to stop on my, on my Scott Barnes. Although I need to switch things up a little bit. Oh, this is a good one. This is one I haven't actually used yet, and I bought it at TJ Maxx probably a year and a half ago. Uh, KVD Vegan Beauty Contour Palette. All right, I've probably decluttered some of these. If that's the case, I will just spin again. I'm excited to see what this picks for me. Picking an eyeshadow palette is literally the worst part about my makeup routine because I'm so overwhelmed with the sheer amount of eyeshadow palettes that I have. The Glam Light Ice Cream Dream. I did an entire video dedicated to that palette and the footage was unusable because my audio was screwed up. So I am so excited I get to play with that one. Let's spin again. We're going to pick like, I don't know, maybe like three. The Carity Picante. I haven't actually played with that since I first got it. Not a bad palette. I'm actually interested to see what I think about the quality now that my tastes have changed a little bit and I've tried a lot more. Ooh, Natasha Denona Glam. Let's do four palettes. 
Give me something good. The Pure Visionary. Haven't used that one in forever either. All right, let's pick out a blush. I am going to have to pick several just because blush kind of depends on your, your overall look. The Elf Cream Blush Palette. Do you know that I've never used that? I'm scared of cream blush. All right, let's pick out a few more. Ooh, the All Natural. That's another cream formula. Come on, y'all. Give me some... Just give me a powder blush. The Hourglass Ambient Luminous Flush. All right, one more. LA Girl Just Peachy. Okay. I can, I can live with that. Let's do the bronzer. The Milk Makeup Baked Cream Bronzer. I'm getting a lot of cream products. I just don't use a lot of cream products. I guess this is like nature's way of forcing me to. The Fenty Cream Bronzer. Do you see what's happening right now? Give me a powder bronzer, please. Maybe if I talk nice to it. Oh my god, that's three in a row. I need a powder bronzer, guys. At least one. Okay, the Pure Bronzing Act. I can handle that. So I know that I picked out quite a few products, but picking from this selection as opposed to that selection is so much easier. So that's kind of what I was wanting to do with this, to really narrow down my choices and make that selection process so much easier. All right, the first thing I'm going to use is the Shiseido Wasso Primer. Again, this is something that I bought quite a long time ago. I really liked it when I tried it out, but it's just very, very matte. Almost like a little too matte. But I'm excited to try it again because it's been, again, a long time. It's a little off-putting because it's like snot green. But I think this is good right in the T-zone area. My entire face gets oily, so guess what? This is going all over the face. It actually feels a lot like the... Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer, one of my favorites, once it dries down. It dries very quickly, so once you put it on the skin, you need to work, and quickly. And yes, I'm going to use my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector because it's my favorite. It just saves my under eyes. I've been putting a major dent in this under eye corrector, which is crazy because I haven't even had it that long. But I use it pretty much every time I do my makeup now. It is such a great product. Okay, for the foundation, I'm going to be mixing together the NARS Soft Matte, my Airbrush Flawless Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury, and maybe a dab of the Jane Eardale Beyond Matte. I don't have a whole lot of experience with this Jane Eardale one, which is why I really didn't want to use it alone, which kind of sounds counterintuitive, but I would like to film more videos. So in order to do that, I can't look totally ratchet. I want to try to have a decent look. So that's what we're, we're aiming for here. So something else that I've recently fallen back in love with is my Real Techniques, what is this, their Expert Face Brush. Do you guys remember this? Do y'all remember everybody raving about this little foundation brush? I used to rave about this brush, and for some reason, just from trying so many different things, trying different brushes, this kind of got set in the back of my makeup collection somewhere. You know, finding this was like meeting up with an old friend again. It was like, hey, I remember you. And I just, I forgot how much I love this. It's such a great foundation brush and it's so inexpensive. I don't know how these foundations are going to play together, so I guess we're going to find out together. I've been looking to buy a hand mirror. Actually, I might have already bought one. Sometimes I buy things on Amazon and I forget that I buy them. Y'all ever do that? I'll be cruising on there and I'll buy something or I'll let it sit in my basket too long and think that I bought it. You guys ever do that? I do it all the time. I'll be like, why didn't I get this product? It's like, oh, it's still sitting in my basket. This is definitely not the right tone for me and I have hair on my face. Oh, it's the worst. Shoot, that's some full coverage. I mean, full, full coverage. Anyhow, what I was saying is I have a hand mirror coming to me because this one is tiny. That'd work out so well. I mean, it seems like they're playing all right together. My face and my neck are always two completely different tones. My neck looks like it's, I don't know, like warm toned or even like a neutral. And my face always looks like I should be like a cool tone. All right, now that I have all the foundation laid down, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape. This one, yeah, I haven't been telling you the shades. This one's in the shade Fair Neutral. It's a little bit light for my skin tone, but I like using this to really brighten up that under eye area. Since the foundation mixture is pretty full coverage, this will kind of go well with that. Okay. What you doing? Blending this in. Blending what in? 
could watch. You want to tell the, the great people of Makeup with Michelle's channel what you're doing right now? I you already got one on? Yeah. Look at you. You got to mush them together. I know, it's hard. It is hard. You're supposed to put liner on before you put the lashes on. Oh, not bad, not bad. Go for a timer. Yeah. <laughs> she does better lashes than I do. Okay, I'm going to take the tart shape tape. We're going to brighten up them under eyes. Try not to go too crazy heavy because this stuff is super full coverage. Like if you're looking to cover up some darkness or just cover up anything, Tarte Shape Tape's got your back. It is looking a little bit dry underneath them under eyes. I mean, we're kind of, it is what it is at this point. We're just going to move it along. Okay, I almost powdered. I have cream contour I need to use. This is why I always forget to use this product because I like to powder right after I do my foundation. That way stuff doesn't start settling. However... We need to go into the KVD Beauty. Well, at this point in time, it was Kat Von D Beauty. This is, a long, this is an old product. This is her Shade and Light, or their Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm going to be dipping into the shade right here. It's just a neutral contour shade. I'm a little nervous because this is an older product, and I'm really hoping it's not totally expired, and I'm hoping it doesn't ruin my base makeup. I'm going to be doing this with my Chikahoto GSN 5 brush. I love this little brush for contour because of the way it's shaped. I've talked about this brush numerous times here on my channel. It's a fave. Oh, snaps. Okay, I'm going to take like the butt of my beauty blender here and we're going to try to blend her out a little bit because it's a little crazy. Eh, that's better. It's just a very stiff formula and I think it's because it's old. This probably wasn't as stiff of a formula when it was brand new. Or maybe it was. I have no clue. Because it's been out for a very long time. That's different. I tried to keep it kind of light. Sometimes my contour and bronzer and blush and everything can be very, very heavy. I'm trying to get better about that. But I just, it's how I like my makeup. I like it to be pretty intense. All right, so I use that contour in several different places. I put some up here around the hairline. I did the cheekbones. I did the jawline. I put a little bit around the lips to make them appear a little bit fuller. And I did the nose like ever so slightly. So now we're going to dip into that Fenty Cream Bronzer. This one's in the shade Butter Biscuit. I think it's such a, a fun shade name. Uh, but this is a really good bronzer for my skin tone. We are going to go over top of it ultimately with that Pure Bronzing Act bronzer. And we're going to start tapping her on. I haven't used this one in a while. It's not a bad bronzer. I just don't use cream products that much. You can see how like it's just toned down. It's not too heavy. I'm sure I could really build this up to be a lot heavier if I wanted to, but I like the fact that I have to build it up and it's not just bam, you know what I mean? Honestly, I probably could have gone with the bronzer up one from this one if I wanted a little bit more warmth. This one is really neutral. I'm very luminous at the moment, but I know as soon as I set my face, it's really going to kind of mattify things for me. If I wasn't afraid that my makeup would slide off my face in 20 minutes, I would just leave it like this, but we're going to set it. Okay, so the setting powder that I picked out is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, an old classic. This was a mini that I picked up probably two years ago, or maybe even longer. Or maybe I grabbed the second one. Actually, this is my second container of the, of the mini size version of this. Come here. Look at you. Okay. You did good. Real good. So, I tried something new today with the brows. I did the soap brow method, and I'm not an expert at it. You could tell they are hella uneven, but I tried. I took the pear's soap, I sprayed a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus on it, combed it through my brows, and then I used the Urban Decay Brow Blade in, I think I used Neutral Nana and Dark Drapes because I was running out of Neutral Nana. This is what I ended up with. Like, this one's higher than the other one. Thicker in the front. I'm not going to fight with them. All right, let's move it into the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. I am so excited to be playing with this. I'm going to be primarily using these two colors right here just to come up with a really pretty, like, pastel, purpley green. I don't know. I have a whole vision going on. It's going to look cute. I think I'm also going to use this shade up here, which is called Gelato. And then I also have a Cleona single that I want to throw into the mix. This is called Lineage. 
this shade is so unique. I don't have anything else like this in my entire collection. It's green, but it's got like this lilac shift to it. It is so beautiful and swatched out. It's just, again, unlike anything else that I own, like look how pretty this is. Let's see if I can get, look at that. It's just different. It's like mint green, but it shifts like an icy lilac. I don't know. I love it. And I want to throw that in like the inner portion of my lid. So when I went off camera to finish my brows, I also tested out a couple of different eyeshadow bases with this matte formula because I remembered when I was first testing this out for my dedicated video with this palette that I never got to upload. I had a little bit of trouble with pigmentation. I feel like it really wasn't building the way I wanted it to. And... I tried the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer just now, as well as the P. Louise Base, because they're both pretty similar, but they're just a little bit different in texture and thickness. So my conclusion is that it's best to go in with something super tacky, like the P. Louise Base, pack it on, and then use that to buff out gently, because if you go in just blending, it just kind of blends away. So they're pigmented, but they're not, how do I want to put it? They're not opaque. It doesn't really make sense, does it? Anyhow, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the P. Louise base. I'm going to pack it on, blend it out gently. I hope that this doesn't turn into a disaster because I'm a little worried. I love Glam Light's shimmer formula, but as far as their mattes, I think they're pretty hit or miss. You'll have to let me know down below if you have any experience with Glam Light's matte formula or just Glam Light in general. What do you think about their quality? And do you agree with me that their matte formula is a little touch and go? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get some P. Louise laid down. We'll come back and we'll start playing with this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to dip into the shade Honey Lavender. And I'm going to do that with a smaller, dense pencil brush. What is on my eyelid? Is that a piece of broccoli? Just dinner hanging out on my lid. Jesus, P. Louise, let her go. I have a feeling this is going to take some serious building just because of how easily these shadows kind of fluff away and take a little bit of building up to get some impact here such a pretty color though okay now that I have that basis laid down I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush and I'm gonna dip into that shade mint chocolate and that's that really light colored I wouldn't really call it well I guess it's like a mint shade and we're going to do half on, half off. And we're going to really work to blend this one when we get there. I'm going to take my Sigma blending brush. It's really like floofy up top. And I'm dipping into mint chocolate again. And I'm going to go around the edges like really lightly to kind of give this that diffuse look. And that really well blended look. And then I'm going to do the same thing, dipping into that purple shade that we went into and kind of mesh the two together a little bit better. So pretty. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do now is pack some of this purple on this outer edge, and then I'm going to start building up those shimmer shades. All right, here's the fun part. I'm going to take the shade Gelato, which is a really beautiful, like, it's purple, but it almost has this bluey type of shift to it. I'm going to pack that out here, and then I'm putting that Cleona shade on that inner portion. I'm excited. This is going to be pretty. Ooh, that's beautiful. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a good shimmer. I can't even help it anymore. Like, who would have ever thought at a 37 I would be this into glitter and shimmer? <laughs> now let's dip into Lineage. Such a unique shade. There it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love that so much. I'm just tapping a little bit over top of this purple to kind of mesh them a little bit and I'm gonna get out of there. I love it. <laughs> I absolutely love that. I think it's it's different. I don't I don't think I've done a look like this yet, have I? What I'm gonna do is hop off here. I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye. I'm gonna blend the same colors underneath the eye. So honey lavender and mint chocolate. Stamp them on, blend them out. I'm gonna put some mascara on. All right, so I'm putting my mascara on, just trying to like rush through it real quick. And I just, I grabbed one of the literal 
60 mascaras that I have sitting over here. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I think I got this in a BoxyCharm recently. I'm like floored at how good this looks. Do you see how how long those lashes are in comparison? Have you guys tried this mascara before? I'm shocked. I didn't think I was going to like it because the wand looks sketch. <laughs> Let me just show you. I don't know. This isn't what I typically go for, but I'm like really surprised at my lashes right now. I think they look really nice. Like I'm in love with this eye look. I think it looks very whimsical and I don't know. I love the pastel. I love, oh, oh I forgot to tell you. So after I used that Cleona single lineage in that inner portion of my lid, I took the shade Lunar Spectrum from Terra Moons Cosmetics as my inner corner highlight. And I'm in love with this eye look. <gasps> Almost dropped it on the floor. I'm so sorry. All right, now we have to move on to the bronzer, the blush, the highlight, the lips. I already put down the Fenty Cream Bronzer, but from going over top with a bunch of powder, because I have powdered numerous times now, since I've been filming for hours and hours, I have the Pure Bronzing Act Bronzer. This one is in the shade Light. And, whoa, almost dropped it. That's what it looks like. It smells like chocolate. You can actually see where it's got ridges in it from where I've used it so much. Well, maybe. I can see it in person. Um, I have used this quite a bit. I just haven't used it anytime recently. I'm excited to get this look completed. It's uh, <laughs> It's been quite the filming session. I've had a lot of fun playing with these products. And I'm pleasantly surprised with how these foundations mix together. I honestly wasn't expecting them to mix nicely. I was I was expecting to have problems. And the, the Wasso Primer, I had no problems with that either. I am pleasantly surprised with everything so far. All right, let's get some bronzer on the cheeks. I don't use this that often and I can't remember why. I forgot how much I like this. I might have to start pulling this back into rotation more often. Just having a very good makeup try on day. I love this. So I have the Hourglass Luminous Flush uh, Blush, and this isn't one that I would typically pick for this look, but we're just winging it today. Oh, let's see what happens here. I don't know if this is going to be the right tone for this look. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. The makeup gods are on my side today. I don't ever use this blush, and I think it's because when I look at it in the pan, it just doesn't look like something that is, I don't know, that appealing to me. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love it. Okay. Yeah, I'm totally digging everything about this. The last product I need to throw on before we get to the lips is the JD Glow Highlighter in Chaos. This product I'm a little nervous about. It is really chunky, very glittery. This is actually more or less something I would use as like an inner corner highlight. Mm, oh no. I don't know what this is going to do for the cheeks. But guess what? You guessed it. We're going there. We got to, you know? This is what we picked. It is definitely glittery. This is not the type of highlighter I typically go for. But that doesn't look bad. I think the key is moderation with this one. I don't know if you guys can even really see it. Yeah, you can see it. It's pretty. I don't know. Today's been a very odd day with the makeup. Stuff that I really wouldn't expect to love, but I do. But I love it. So this is the finished makeup look, and I, <laughs> I absolutely love how this turned out. So I know this was a long video. I had a lot of fun playing today. I literally played with makeup for hours, and I, I kind of needed it. I love the look that I created. I love being able to dip back into older products, experiment a little bit, see what I thought about some things. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Oh, I forgot to mention that I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss. This one's in Metallic Rose. That's the shininess, that pink that you see on my lips. And I lined my lips with the Essence Lip Liner. This one's in Under My Skin. Really pretty pink lip liner. And that's it. If you like this style of video from me where I use the little spinner app to pick my makeup for me, let me know down below. Let me know what other type of videos you would like to see from me. I love having feedback from you guys. I want to make things that you guys want to watch. So please leave some feedback for me down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. 
When you do that, it also lets YouTube know that you like it, which means it'll push this content out there for more people to see, which just brings more people to our wonderful community over here. And I am so grateful when you guys do that. If you've made it this far in the video, but you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, turn all the notifications on. You don't want to miss any future uploads from me. We have a good time over here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.